How are we doing guys? All used to be Leeds vs Brentford, this is the match preview of the game. So, we'll start straight away with the team news. You know, Barry Douglas is injured, no real idea of how long he's out injured for. It didn't look good against Hull when he came off with 10 minutes to go. Some rumours about hamstring injury, nothing really concrete being confirmed on that as of yet. But obviously it does look very, well, it's, it's a certainty, he isn't, he isn't going to play on Saturday against Brentford. So, that is a massive blow. And it couldn't have come at any worse time. You know, we're possibly coming up against, for me, the best right winger in the league, inside Ben Rama. Inside Ben Rama. Um, you know, I think he's an absolutely superb player. Pacey, skillful, got plenty of end products, a real, real talent. He's going to be a real difficult player to cope with, with particularly without Barry Douglas. You know, I think that's a massive loss. A lot of rumours about who could play. The favourite is probably Stuart Dallas at left back, given that he played quite a lot of pre season at left back before Barry Douglas arrived. Uh, Bielsa does seem to be a massive fan of Stuart Dallas's for his work rate, his ability to press, you know, his stamina. He has pretty much all the fundamentals that I think what Bielsa wants in a player. Tom Pierce is another option on that left hand side. You know, he's probably the only other natural out and out left back at the club. He's done well whenever he's played. You know, he came in last season and was an absolutely fantastic last season. You know, in a difficult time to come into the team, and he was a real focal point of the team going forward, defensively solid, and he was a real example to some players. I felt last season. You know, he gave that uh, he gave that benchmark, I think, to young players and what to ha what you have to do. You know, he came in no fuss and did fantastically well against some of the best wingers in the league. I may add, um, you know, I think against Robert Snodgrass. At Villa Park, um, away, away to Villa last season. Um, he came up against um, James Madison at Norwich last season. You know, um, I should think a couple of other players as well. And he's done well every single time he's played at left back for us. For me, you know, I'm going to go for the team. I'd go with and make a slight change. You know, still the four one four one. No reason to change that. Uh, Bailey Peacock, Farrell, Luke Aylin, Pontus Janssen, Liam Cooper. I'm going to go Alioski at left back. You know, I've not really mentioned him, but for me, it has to be Ezjan Alioski for this game. I think any other sort of occasion, I'd be throwing Tom Pierce or Stuart Dallas into the equation, but for me, Alioski, with his pace, is going to be perfect for this game. So I think he's the only real hope we have of stopping Ben Rama. You know, I think the pace he has, you need someone with that pace, that a bit, bit more awareness, I guess. Um, so it's going to be a real challenge for him. But I think Samar Alioski is ideal for this game. I think it's a real chance to build his confidence back up again. You know, we've seen a lot. Obviously, um, Connor from the Ramblers of the South Stand did do a really, really good video. Make sure you check it out. Um, Let's talk Alioski. Make sure you check out that video. It was on earlier in the week. You know, fantastic analysis there. Joe's mentioned it a few times. But the key thing is, no one's ever said from our side of things that Alioski's a bad player. You know, he's not a bad player. Absolutely not. But he's he is, you have to assess, at the moment, he's out, of, he's out of form, you know, simple as that. So for me, I've dropped him back to left back in this game. You know, for Macedonia, he's played there plenty of times, and most of his career, he's actually been a left back. So for me, for that pace, I play Alioski at left back. But as I said, no one's actually said he's a bad player. You know, he's out of confidence, out of form, and just maybe moving position slightly, you know, might help build things up a little bit. But you know, at the start of the season, I felt he was our most underrated player. I've said it many times on the reviews. You know, it's uh, and yeah, some of the criticism he has got over the last few weeks has been, you know, tough. You know, I think it has been a little bit overcritical. But I think it, to an extent, it is. I think it is fair to criticise Alioski, but I think some of it does go a little bit over the top. You know, he hasn't been in form, and that's the problem. But for me, he goes left back in this game. Holding midfielder Calvin Phillips, absolutely no doubt about it. Um, Jack Harrison on the right, Matthias Klick, Samu Saeed through the middle, and on the left, I'm going to have Stuart Dallas on that side. You know, I think Dallas has looked a little bit better on that left hand side than Alioski over the last couple of weeks. When he's come on, he's looked quite sharp, he's in slightly better form, and I think in the game like this, he can really cover Alioski quite well. I think the main thing is it might seem a bit negative on that left hand side, but I just think we need to lock down that left hand side, just accept that maybe we're not going to get the most creativity on that side with Barry Douglas at the team and just make sure defensively we're solid on that side because Dalsgaard and Ben Rama as I mentioned is a very 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 good um, right hand side at Brentford so it's probably one of the main bits of their team really so I think it's important that we adapt to that in big games sometimes you can't always go fully attacking you have to be a little bit pragmatic look for me Bielsa isn't going to do this you know I've said 
it, you know, it's still probably going to be Stuart Dallas and Alioski the other way around. But for me, I'd go Alioski for his pace at left back, Stuart Dallas on the left wing. Um, up top has to be Tyler Roberts, who's been absolutely superb when he since he's uh, took over the spot from Kemal Roof being injured and Patrick Bamford being injured. You know, he's look, he looks, he's looks, just looks so good. You know, and I think we've mentioned it as well. For me, when Kemal Roof comes back, there's absolutely no guarantees that he walks straight back into that team because Tyler Roberts, I think, has a lot of attributes. You know, that maybe Kemal Roof doesn't have. I think he's a little bit more strength, a little bit better at holding the ball up, and it's going to be a real interesting one. What happens when we get Kemal Roof back, Patrick Bamford back? Who goes through that middle? You know, and I think in terms of three really good striker options at the moment, it certainly looks. But I'll talk a little bit about Brentford as well. Brentford are a team I have a lot of respect for. You know, they always try and play front foot, attacking football, possession based football. It's absolutely fantastic to watch. You know, before this season, the two teams, you know, who I'd say at this level over the last couple of years have been by far the best football inside. So it has to be Fulham and Brentford for me by, by an absolute mile really. The way they play the football is really good to watch and I think it's going to be a really tough game on Saturday, just relentless attacking football from both sides. It's, going to be a, it's got a 3-2, 4-3 to either side potential to it. You know, It's going to be really tough and the way Brentford play the football, they're going to win a lot more games than they lose this season. And based on what I've seen so far, I'd be very surprised if they're not you know, there or thereabouts come the end of the season as well. But you know, they look at the players that lost as well in the summer. Ryan Woods on on loan to Stoke, who probably will leave permanently as well. Uh, Joseph Zoo, who left the Derby, you know, he's a player I was really keen on us signing. There was a rumour we were after him and I really would have wanted us to sign that player. But we didn't, and it's a big loss to Brentford, but they've replaced him really well. You know, I'll just go through Brentford's team. You know, the back four is pretty consistent really. It's um Dal's guard right back, um, Chris Meppen, another player I'm a real fan of, a young Welsh defender who's been showing a lot of potential. And he's a player I might have looked at in the summer for our centre-back situation. Maybe he's a player to look at in January. He's a real, real in impressive player for me. Um, they've also got Konsa as well, a centre-back from Charlton, another good young player. Uh, Barbe is playing left-back, good, solid player as well. It's a solid back four, really. Um, then you look at the... It's more of a 4 2 3 1. The two holders, I say the two holders, but they don't really play like that at all. You've got Josh McEachran, and it varies a little bit, but it tends to be Romain Sawyers playing a little bit deeper. And they're two attack minded players, really, so there's no real natural out and out holding midfielder in that team. It just shows how, you know, how much they want to attack, you know, that they're willing to take that risk. And it's fascinating to watch, really, teams doing that. And I'm a big fan of that. Um, I've mentioned already Ben Rahmer on the right wing. Lewis McLeod through the middle, uh, Ollie Watkins on the left, and Neil Morpé through the middle up front. And that front four has got to be one of the best front fours in the league. I mean, already this season it scored 15 goals. And not, they've not all played every game either that, of that front four. It's really impressive. You know, great to watch. I mean, it's tough. It's got everything. It's got pace, uh, strength, everything you really want from a front four. And it's going to be really difficult to deal with. But I think we have got the players to deal with that. I think Calvin Phillips in the middle of the park should be able to deal with what, you know, with the help of Matthias Click as well, just in front of him, should be able to deal with that. We have got wingers who are willing to track back as well, so we don't hopefully won't get too many overloads out wide. But there's a lot of individual quality there, and it's tough to tactically plan against a team with that kind of individual quality. You know, Ben Rahm is capable of moments of magic. Ollie Watkins is capable of moments of magic. He was absolutely fantastic against us at Griffin Park last season. So, you know, maybe I'm showing a lot of lot of respect to Brentford, but they really do have a, a good team now. You know, and a lot of te you know, Reading four four two, they strongly fancy Brentford for promotion this season. I can definitely see that. So it's going to be a really, really tough game. It's a game I think if we want to be up there, it's a game we have to turn up in. You know, we have to put on a performance. Whether we can get the win, I don't know. You know, there's a lot of players missing. But if we do want to be up there, we have to turn up in a game like this. Yeah, we've done it this so far this season, but it's slightly a different test. The only real team we've played like this so far this season is probably Derby, who tries to play front foot against us. And in the end, we were absolutely outstanding on the day. But we do have players missing from that game. Barry Douglas was a key player that day. Pablo Hernandez, Kemal Roof, all crucial players on that particular day. But Gatana Berardi as well at centre back, you know, playing the ball quickly and vertically out the back. You know, so it's going to be tough to get another that kind of level of performance, but that's probably the closest I think we've come to playing an attacking-minded team. 
but it's a tough game. You know, no matter what, it's going to be a tough game, and it's going to be an entertaining game. That's something we can absolutely guarantee. Make sure you let us know your thoughts on the game, your prediction, starting lineup, who you go for to fill that left back slot. You know, would you go for Tom Pierce? Would you go for Stuart Dallas? Would you maybe think a little bit outside the box, like maybe I've suggested with Alioski? You know, it's not me mentioned at all. You know, Alioski is still very much seen as a winger, but could he play filling at left back in a game like this? Make sure you let us know your thoughts on the game. And if you haven't already, check out Joe's preview of the game and Connor at the Ram at the, Ram at the South Stand as well. I've been Oscar Marriott, All East TV. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you later.